The National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics announced a policy Monday that all but bans transgender athletes from competing in women's sports at its 241 mostly small colleges across the country. The Nia Council of Presidents approved the policy in a 20-0 vote at its annual convention in Kansas City, Missouri. The Nia, which oversees some 83,000 athletes competing in more than 25 sports, is believed to be the first college sports organization to take such a step. According to the transgender participation policy, all athletes may participate in Nia sponsored male sports but only athletes whose biological sex assigned at birth is female and have not begun hormone therapy will be allowed participate in women's sports. A student who has begun hormone therapy may participate in activities such as workouts, practices and team activities, but not in interscholastic competition. With the exception of competitive cheer and competitive dance, the NIA created separate categories for male and female participants, the NIA said. Each NIA sport includes some combination of strength, speed and stamina, providing competitive advantages for male student athletes. As a result, the NIA policy for transgender student athletes applies to all sports except for competitive cheer and competitive dance, which are open to all students. There is no known number of transgender athletes at the high school and college levels, though it is believed to be small. The topic has nonetheless become a hot-button issue among conservative groups and others who believe transgender athletes should not be allowed to compete on girls' and women's sports teams. The NIO understands that legal action being taken to challenge the policy is a possibility, but this policy is one our membership and board felt like was the right decision. The Naya said in a statement to the Associated Press. Shiwali Patel, senior counsel at the National Women's Law Center, said her organization was outraged by the Naya policy. This is unacceptable and blatant discrimination that not only harms trans, non binary, and intersex individuals, but limits the potential of all athletes, Patel said in a statement. It's important to recognize that these discriminatory policies don't enhance fairness in competition. Instead, they send a message of exclusion and reinforce dangerous stereotypes that harm all women. Last month, more than a dozen current and former college athletes filed a federal lawsuit against the NCAA, accusing the sport's governing body for more than 500,000 athletes of violating their rights by allowing transgender women to compete in women's sports. Hours after the NIA announcement, the NCAA released a statement, College sports are the premier stage for women's sports in America and the NCAA will continue to promote Title IX, make unprecedented investments in women's sports and ensure fair competition for all student-athletes in all NCAA championships.